Hey everybody, good morning. It is day five of quarantine cam uh, at the Littlefield Company. We are still hunkered away. We're tucked away all in our, in our offices, we're homes, and uh, this is the new normal. Um, I think that's kind of strange to look at where this is the new normal in the space of we are telecommuting and we are talking on the phones, we are video conferencing all the time to then be able to do our job and do what we love. So this is kind of the new normal, which is just, which is super, super funny, but um, it is what it is. So I hope everybody is safe um, on Monday and uh, let's kind of have a great week. I love Mondays personally. I think they're the best day of the week. People really get going. People get so, you know, in that time, you know, in that space, just really be productive, really be prepared and do what you can. Um, I know jobs and I know everything is a little uneasy right now um, with the way the world is, the way the world's sitting. But um, I just want to wish everybody, hopefully everybody's having a great Monday, coffee's good, all the above. So um, one of the biggest things I kind of want to go over today is just to stay to where we're at. Um, I know I have a, a couple question and answer Q&As have come in over the weekend or from last week. Um, thank you for writing those in, by the way, and we'll get to those in a second. Um, but, you know, I just want to give you an update from where we're at as the Littlefield Company. My team is practicing social distancing to help the current situation of the world. Um, the hard part for where we sit is that we love making videos and we love collaborating together. And I think that's a difficult part for us is because we've built a community. We've built a really strong bond with just being a earshot away or a holler away. And to do this virtually now has been a, has been a challenge. Uh, we're definitely, I'm really, really thankful for my team to take it head on um, as so much, so many others are as well. But uh, I think it's super important. Um, and I, yeah, like I said, I kind of I kind of deeming this the new normal in that space where this is what it's going to look like for the next little while. And we don't really know what's going to happen, but uh, we're we're embracing it, you know, fully head on, and we're going to tackle it. So um, I think the the other hard part is that we just love telling stories, and without having cameras or people to interact with, we, we're struggling to find really unique ways to do that. Um, I think it's where we're putting a lot of our energy, a lot of our conversation, and a lot of our creativity into right now to understand where or how we can tell stories, how we can create connection, how we can inspire. But I think it's super, in these uncertain times, I think it's our job as society to continue to foster opportunity and foster connection. I think it's one of those things where right now opportunity is just kind of slowly being pulled away for no one's fault. Uh, I'm just, it's just a terrible time, but I think it's a really important time to foster that connection. And it's really, you know, it's really interesting. It is 2020 and we have to remember that this thing here called a phone is arguably a computer. And if we were, if this was 1950, we would have no ability to do our jobs. We would have no ability to execute. We would have no ability to create connection or inspire people even from our homes. And I think we have to use the tools at our disposal to create connection, to create community, to create those opportunities, even if this is the new normal for the next couple of months. Um, I believe conversation sparks creativity. So, how do we do that when we're not in a collaborative whiteboarded room where we can throw, we can have spaghetti meetings, we can throw ideas on the wall, and we can throw concepts out, and we can talk through everything. You know, how do we do that? And I think that's a really great challenge that we're facing right now. Um, we're more isolated than ever, but I think the concept of social, you know, community and networking is unique because of the ability with what we have here um, in just our, you know, in our pocket. And it's, it's unique because we as a company were born into this sp in the space of we wanted to create something to connect to somebody or uniquely connect to somebody, which then inspired them to make a change. And now it's a little harder because we're not in the same room. We're not talking about it, nor can we go like tell that person's story in that space. The, a few of my friends and a few of the, you know, a few people in Charlotte, I'm watching them do the really well. And I'm so sorry, my screen is just going absolutely red on me and I'm trying to guide in the right. That's better. That's back to normal. 
Um, but I wanted to kind of call out a few friends who are doing this really well. I think one of our partners in Sweatnet is doing an incredible job of just leaning into this. And they are doing some really unique things where they're hosting live workouts, inspiring thousands of people to get up and move in their living room. Sydney Cummings has been doing this on YouTube for Gosh, it seems like forever, but it hasn't really been that long. She's created a great following doing that process, doing that, you know, inspiring people in their homes. Um, but there's so many creators on YouTube and Instagram and even now TikTok who are just pouring in content because they have time and they actually have some time to work and they have some time to be creative. So please, in this time of where you're sitting home, you know, Go on these social platforms and look for creativity. Look for that spark. Look for that inspiration and not just look at it as a waste of time. It can be very valuable right now. Um, and that's super, super interesting. Like the, the amount of information that is right at your fingertips. If you want to learn something new, if you want to engage with somebody, just literally message them. And I think that's a unique time that we're in right now. Um... One thing that everybody knows about me, I don't turn down coffee, and that's kind of my whole team's mentality in this in this kind of time as well. We are not turning down conversations. We are still working. We're still fully operational. And if you do want to have a cup of coffee, if you do want to learn something, if you want to talk about a project, whatever it is, please write us. If it's anybody on the team, just please have your coffee ready. I have mine right here. Um, but you know, I'll have it. So please, it'll look a little different, but this is the new normal compared to across the table, across the coffee shop. You know, I wish not just coffee was able to deliver me, uh, James, maybe that's something we're working on, but I don't know. Um, would love that. Um, but yes, please like write us comments. Let's, let's chat through a lot of things. Um, as a company, we're taking this as a challenge and it's, uh, I was on a podcast with Garrett Tishy. um, uh, last Friday, and, or last Thursday, excuse me. And one of the things that we're taking this on as, and I kind of want to give my perspective on how we're looking at this, is that this is a really unique challenge for us. It's, and I, I kind of mentioned in the podcast that like, I'm almost excited about this. And I know that's like a really terrible way to look at it because, and I don't mean that like people are, you know, sick and I'm excited about that. And again, sorry for my, my screen being red. Um, I'm more excited about how we can operate as a company and to see what really we're made of. You know, as a company, we've all, we're only two, just over two years old. So we're, we didn't go through 08. You know, we were not around during those other really, really fallouts of business. And uh, I think it's going to be interesting. I think we're going to really see what my team's made of. And more importantly, and maybe not actually, I take that back, not more importantly, but I'm really going to see what I'm made up of as a business owner. And I'm really, really excited about the opportunity to see how I can stay focused, how I can motivate my team, how I can inspire. And that's super important to me. Um, another one of our goals was probably for 2020 was to open office number two. And, um, you know, as we were, we were heading up to this, we had some great conversations. We had some really unique opportunities and, you know, California was looking like a great opportunity for us. And with a Q, with a, with a few key people, California would have been a home run start. And we would have probably looked into that a lot faster. Um, now we're putting kind of just putting it on the back burner real quick. Um, but it's a unique opportunity because we've only been hyper local. We've only been Charlotte focused people in the city. You know, our team is all lives here. We're in the same room all the time. And now it's, we have this ability to understand how we're going to operate from afar. And we have this, uh, we have this opportunity to see how we as a team are going to come together and, and work from maybe 3000 miles away. And I think that's a really unique place to look at it from. Um, and I'm just trying to stay positive throughout this, but it's it's our responsibility to continue to create a global community. So what types of content would you like to see from us? You know, as we're, we're building out a lot of ideas and concepts and we're trying to run on a lot of them, but if there's anything that you guys want to see from us is anything from like how I'll, I'll pick on Austin, how Austin makes an iced coffee in the morning to how we color videos. Um, or what's our process like, please write in, you know, let us give us, give us concepts, give us questions, give us, we can answer those and make some really compelling content while in still in home. 
and from this too, because this is an incredible device. So we don't need, you know, hundreds of thousand dollars worth of equipment. We can do everything from right here, which we're super excited about. Um, all right, well, that is it for kind of the state of the company right now. Um, to get into a couple Q and A's, um, first one comes in as, let's see here, um, how have your shoots changed from when you were doing this solo to now as a company? It's changed drastically. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. It's night and day. When I was doing this solo, it was also I was I was a photographer. I wasn't a videographer. So in that space of now, as the local company, we are majority video. Um, it's changed drastically. I couldn't have imagined we walk onto a set with six or seven people to produce a video, and that's a normal thing for us. You know, we like to keep crews small. We believe that we can be efficient in our in our time as well as in our people. But uh, to think that it was just me to now having seven people loaded up in the van and a, and a truckload of gear is, is very different. So uh, definitely also the creativity has changed a lot as well. The concepts have gotten deeper. Um, we've gotten more elaborative. We've gotten more creative. So it's just, it's night and day changed. Um, another next question, how is the team morale? I think the team morale is, is positive. Um, the, I'm, all, I'm hearing positive things. I think everyone is a bit concerned as it's getting closer and closer to home, but right now we are positive, um, and we're trying to make really unique content to help everybody grow and help everybody learn. So we're, we're keeping, you know, it's even the small stuff as we have a Friday, every, the last Friday of every month, we have a tradition of doing video Friday where everybody on the team has to bring a video in. We get popcorn and drinks and we really just hang out and we talk about the uniqueness of that video and why it was shown. And like, we're gonna figure out a way, we're gonna do it this week and we're gonna, rem we're gonna do it remotely. Uh, expectation from my end on that is that everybody has their video and everybody has popcorn because that's the standard for what we do. And uh, we are going to, we are going to stream that. Um, we're going to record it. So it could be a great piece of education on the back end. So look forward to that this week. Um, next question, what projects are you looking forward to the team creating? I think the biggest thing I'm really excited about is showing our team dynamic as well as showing the uniqueness of who people are. It's, it's really interesting when you put a group of eight people into a room, they're all different. And a core value for us is be your DNA. It's when you get brought into the company, you are brought in for a reason. And that reason is because of who you are, not because of who we want you to be, not because of who we think we can change or manipulate you to be, but who you are as an individual. Your experiences have made you who you are. It's, it's created you. And for that fact, we want you in the room making creative conversation or talking about creative ideas and making creative decisions. So for that, like I'm excited to see the team, you know, get some love and and really see why I'm so passionate about this team, because the team that we've assembled is is pretty incredible. Um, the, the, the guys on the team are just they're great people, like truly, truly, unbelievably great human beings. And uh, I'm so fortunate for that. So I'm excited to see you guys see a little bit of the side of that. Um, all right, next question up. Should a company go silent on social media or push content? If so, what recommendations? Push content, no question. I know the old expression like content is king, but right now I think it's more important to push content than ever because people are stuck in their homes. They're, they need to be entertained. They need distraction from these really odd unprecedented times push content like create content in whatever it is if it's a small video if it's live whatever it is people need entertainment during this time please please i think it's a time to lean into marketing but it's creative marketing it's unique how to create footage how to create content how to create stories from your home and i think that's super 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 important right now um next question definitely probably somebody on my team wrote this one in but can you power rank team members hair? Um, this will be good. Um, I know everyone's like dying to dying for this one. And probably you're going to see like heads pop up and like, you know, the, the one through eight on the team, one through nine on the team here. Um, this is going to be interesting and I'm probably going to get a little slack for this, but we're going in. Um, oh boy, oh boy, where do I begin? Um, do I start at the top or do I start at the bottom? I think I have to, st uh, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to be political here and I'm going to go top three on the team 
and like, that's it. We're just going to leave it just like that. Top three on the team. Um, Jamie's up there. No question. Great head of hair on the lad. Um, Derek, big fan. Derek's got some solid, I mean, his hair grows like this. Um, now the big, the big part of this is when we talk hair, we also got to bring in facial hair. And right now, Kane Tucker is rocking a mustache that he has committed to me and the rest of the team that he's rocking throughout quarantine. So I got to put him in the mix just because of the mustache. And I'm super excited. I think he's going live or doing a tutorial on Wednesday. Super excited for you guys to see a mustache. It's a little creepy, but it's really awesome. Um, okay, uh, favorite movies. Oh, boy. Um, you know, it's funny. There is a, I have a good buddy of mine. His name is Chad. Um, he goes by hashtag Chad. And he is now the social media manager for Dude Perfect. And Dude Perfect just released on one of their overtime talk shows. They did the top 10, uh, I think it was uh, Tyler's top 10 movies. And it was like just an absolute roast fest for him. Um, so I'm going to throw a couple out there. Um, big thing for me is I do love, uh, I, I love Coach Carter. I think that's a great inspirational tr movie. It's got a great soundtrack, but it also just the story behind it's really, really solid. Um, man, what else? Um, you got to throw a couple good old golf movies in there. You know, Caddyshack's great. Uh, on the cinematic side, I'll pass on that. But from a storyline, wonderful. And, um, you know, there's, there's just too many good ones out there. I think, um, a lot of the recent ones with, you know, Inception's phenomenal, uh, Dark Knight is just, I mean, the cinematography do a lot of this recently. Um, 1912, I haven't seen it or 1920, I haven't seen it yet. Um, but I heard that is just world-class from how they did it. So I'm excited to see that maybe over this quarantine time. Um, okay. Next Next couple questions. Do you have any work from home hacks? I think the biggest thing is following, following, following a routine. Um, I'm a big routine guy where I get up at five, um, get to the gym at six, and then I'm clocked in by 7.15 at the office um, and just start moving. And I'm kind of keep, I'm, I'm keeping the same, same time here. Um, you know, this morning I was up, I was in the other room working out at six and um, showered and got dressed. And I think that's the biggest thing right now. I've heard from a lot of people like showering and getting dressed and like getting ready for your day is just so, so important. So guys, the biggest thing that we're, well, I'm working on, um, again, I'm going red again. I apologize. We didn't have this problem last week, um, but we're going to power through it and hopefully it goes away right now. Um, get up and get ready. That's the biggest thing I can do, but also make sure you're moving around. There's a lot of things especially in the creative space, you can get stuck while working at home. You can be super productive, but creativity like plummets potentially because you're not around people. You're not talking, you're not, you're not seeing things and ideating like regularly. So please talk to people, keep the conversations going, but also get up and move around. Um, here's a great one. Um, we teased that we're going to drop Spotify playlists last week, and we are officially going to do that right now. Um, Spotify playlists are live. If you go to Spotify, search the Littlefield Company, um, and when you as you search the Littlefield Company, you'll get Little Mermaid soundtracks before you get to the Littlefield Company. So just power through it. Um, we have four playlists live right now, and uh, from there, take a listen. These are what this is the songs our guys are listening to right now. Home in quarantine. Um, it's Littlefield favorites, motivation. Uh, productive work and just fun. So whatever you're in the need for, if you just want a little bit of uplifting, kind of like smile and nod your head along, like check out Just For Fun. And if you really need to get down to some work, throw production on there. Um, so yeah, guys, check those out. And then we'll drop links on our social channels as well. Um, and then our last question here is, how have you seen our other companies impacted during this time? Man, I've seen everybody get impacted by this. Um, you know, you go down to the restaurant owners, the coffee shops, um, but even just like the big businesses are getting impacted by it. It's it's pretty, it's pretty unusual to see something across the board get impacted. Um, I think the, I think the industries that are not seeing a bit a huge impact are potentially going to be like the construction workers. 
um, home improvement because people are home and people are looking at what they want to do to it. If it's, hey, I want to add a room on or I want to paint or whatever it is. So I think that's a that's kind of a unique uh, uh, industry to be in right now because I think you're going to see a big influx in cash on the back end. Uh, but I think everybody across the board is getting impacted. Um, and I do believe, I know I watched uh, President Trump speak last night, and I do believe he... I do believe him when he says there's going to be a huge push at cash on the back end of this. So guys, if we're safe and we're at home, we can get through this faster to only get back to normal business. Um, and that's what I'm excited about. So, so then, um, all right, update on this week, what to expect from us this week. Um, today, you know, I am live on day five of quarantine cam Tuesday, tomorrow, Austin Moses is going to be going live. Um, I believe that is going to be around processes, how to create um, what his process is, as well as what our company process is and like how to create that right story. Um, Wednesday, we're going to see Kane Tucker. Thursday, we're going to see Derek. Friday, you're going to see me again, but also you're going to see Chris. So we're going to do a double live. Um, not sure of the timing, but we'll let you know. But we're super, super excited about that um, and stay up to date with all that. So guys, um, welcome to day five of quarantine cam, you know, please be safe, wash your hands, stay home, but also like be creative and be collaborative. It's so important. Um, and guys, we're always here for coffee. So hope you have a great Monday. Cheers. And, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.